Imagine this. You wake up one day, open your math book, and see a shocking equation. 1 plus 1 equals 3. I guess your mind will scream, Wait, what? This is nonsense. From our childhood we have heard that 1 plus 1 equals 2. But this thing breaks the most basic rule of math, right? But what if, just for a moment, I told you it was true, and I am going to prove how 1 plus 1 equals 3 and not 2, or you have to show whether there's a mistake hiding somewhere. We start with this setup. Put 4 on the left-hand side and another 4 on the right-hand side. Now we can rewrite this 4 as 52 minus 48, and this 4 as 100 minus 96, right? There is no contradiction till now. Now I can rewrite this 52 as 16 plus 36, right? Also, I can rewrite this 100 as 64 plus 36, right? No problem till now. Next, we will write this 16 as 4 square, then 36 as 6 square, and this 48 we can write as 2 times 4 times 6, right? We are still good. Now we can also write this 64 as 8 square, then 36 as 6 square, and this 96 we can write as 2 times 8 times 6, right? This also looks fine. Now I think we all have learnt this famous formula in our school, x minus y whole square equals x square plus y square minus 2 times x times y. Oh, look here! On left-hand side, we have x as 4 and y as 6. So this thing will become 4 minus 6 whole square, right? Awesome. But hey, look here as well. We have the same arrangement. x is 8 here and y is 6. So we get 8 minus 6 whole square on right-hand side. Amazing! Now look, we have a square on both the left-hand side and right-hand side, right? So we can simply cancel or eliminate them from both sides, and we are left with 4 minus 6 equals 8 minus 6. Now take this minus 6 on the right-hand side to make it plus 6. We get 4 equals 8 minus 6 plus 6. This 6 will get cancelled out. And we are left with 4 equals 8. This is going crazy. Now divide both sides by 4, and this will become 1 and right side will become 2. And as a final step, just add plus 1 on both sides to make it 1 plus 1, and right side will become 2 plus 1 or 3, and that's it. Look at this beauty. We have finally proved that 1 plus 1 equals 3. Now, either you accept that 1 plus 1 equals 3 and live with it, or prove me wrong by showing the mistake hidden in these steps. So, 